welcome to the installation video of the Kurt 56033 custom vehicle to trailer wiring harness on the 2015 Nissan Rogue. For a better view of the installation, we'll be using a lift. Like most of our installations, this vehicle does not need to be elevated for the install. We estimate this installation to take 30 minutes to one hour, depending on your level of expertise. These are the tools necessary for the install. Begin by opening the back hatch. Then, disconnect the negative battery cable to ensure your safety and the safety of your vehicle's electrical system. Remove the floor coverings and storage covers. Next, remove the scuff panel. To do this, remove the plastic fasteners. First, dislodge the center of the fastener with a flathead screwdriver and then pull out the entire fastener by the base. To remove the scuff plate, gently pull up and forward, being careful not to break any of the plastic mounting tabs. Remove the rear access panel on the driver's side. If the vehicle's taillight wiring harness is still not easily accessible, you may need to pull back the plastic trim panel. To do this, remove the bolt holding the cargo tie-down loop in place. Carefully separate the plastic trim panel from the vehicle's body. Locate the vehicle's taillight wiring harness. Separate the taillight wiring harness connectors from the taillight. Insert the Kurt wiring harness connector with the yellow wire in between the corresponding taillight housing connector and taillight wiring harness connector, making sure all locking tabs are in place. Remove the cargo tie-down loop and separate the trim from the passenger side of the vehicle as well. Separate the taillight wiring harness connectors from the taillight. Insert the Kurt wiring harness connector with the green wire between the corresponding taillight housing connector and taillight wiring harness connector, making sure all locking tabs are in place. Back on the driver's side, locate a suitable mounting location for the white ground wire. If no ground screw is present, find a flat area on the vehicle's body. To ensure great metal-to-metal -metal contact, paint and debris should be sanded off. We recommend drilling a 3 32nd inch pilot hole, being mindful of what you drill into and what is behind it. Use the supplied self-tapping screw to fasten the ground wire. On this vehicle, we are able to utilize an existing ground screw. Remove the screw, place the eyelet of the white ground wire over the removed screw, and reinstall it into the vehicle's body. Find a suitable mounting location for the black converter box. We recommend a flat surface protected from road debris. Use the supplied double-sided tape to adhere the black converter box to your chosen location. Prepare the black power wire by stripping one end of the wire. Insert the stripped end into the yellow butt connector. Crimp this section together. Remove one pre-stripped end from the red inline fuse holder. Insert this end of the wire into the included yellow butt connector and crimp this section together. Finally, remove the remaining pre-stripped end of the red inline fuse wire and crimp on the included yellow eyelet. Attach the yellow eyelet to the accessory nut on the positive battery post. Route the black power wire down and around the engine block staying away from excessive heat sources and moving parts. If possible, route the power wire near the brake and fuel lines. Attach the black power wire with the supplied cable ties and continue to route and fasten away from moving parts and the exhaust system. Route the black power wire up into the taillight housing area. To do this, locate the rubber plug on the bottom of the vehicle's trunk pan and remove. Cut a slit in the middle of the rubber plug and run the black power wire through it. Reinstall the plug into the vehicle's trunk pan. We recommend sealing the rubber plug with silicone to prevent any water or moisture from getting into the trunk pan area. Trim the excess power wire and strip the end of the wire. Insert the stripped end into the included yellow butt connector. Crimp this section together. Insert the black power wire from the black converter box into the yellow butt connector and crimp this section together, making sure a good splice has been made. Place the vehicle's cargo floor coverings, scuff panel, and anything else removed during the installation. Route the four flat to the center of the vehicle and out of the trunk when in use. Insert the provided 10 amp fuse into the fuse holder. Reconnect the negative battery cable. Be 
sure to test your new trailer wiring harness with an electrical tester or a properly wired trailer. When not in use, bundle and store in an out of the way location in the rear cargo area. This completes the installation of the Kurt 56033 custom vehicle to trailer wiring harness on the 2015 Nissan Rogue. Thank you for watching this video. Now you have the power to bring it. Kurt, the first name in towing products.